All right, what's up my friends? Frank Calabro Jr. here. We're going to be teaching a class on paid traffic today. Paid traffic. Now, here's what I can tell you about paid traffic. If you're one of those people or if you know one of those people or if you've heard one of those people that say, I want to come online, I want to make money for free. Okay? Now, here's what I can tell you about that. If you don't buy traffic, okay, if you don't pay for advertising, okay, can you have success? Well, yes, you can, but here's the deal. You're going to have to create a ton of content, okay? Now, if you have a giant YouTube uh, channel with a lot of subscribers, a lot of content, if you're a blogger and you've got a lot of content on your blog, okay, if you have a, a pipeline, okay, uh, to social media, your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., if you can reach a large audience, a large community, okay, because it's already built, it's already established, okay, well then you possibly could not purchase advertising and have success, okay? But if you want to jumpstart your business, there's no way around it. You've got to buy traffic. You have to spend money on advertising. Every traditional business spends money on advertising. Every internet business spends money on advertising. It's part of, you know, it's the cost of doing business, okay? And you don't have to spend a lot to start off with. I remember when I first got started, I was penniless and I was broke. And I was living on top ramen noodles twice per day. I couldn't even afford to buy meat. I was just starving to death broke. And I still bought traffic. What I did, guys, I set myself on a $50 per week budget and I stuck to it, okay? I stuck to this. And then as time went on, I was able to increase that to 100 bucks a week, 200 bucks a week. I've spent five, six, seven thousand dollars per week on advertising, depending upon the offer, what have you. I've spent twenty to thirty thousand dollars per month on advertising in the past. So you know you don't have to have a lot of money to advertise, but you do have to advertise. And this is what I did, and this is what I recommend at a minimum. Because the reason I say this is a minimum is because this will you you could purchase a hundred clicks okay so basically a hundred visitors a hundred visitors to your website to your landing page okay you send a hundred percent of your clicks to a landing page where you collect an email address always 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 collect that email address even if it's like one of your friends and they they reach out to you and they say, hey, I'm interested in your, your network marketing company or I'm interested in your product or service or your own product or whatever it is. You send them to your landing page. Always get their email address. That's the golden rule. You never just say, well, here it is. No. You always make them give you the email address and then you give them the information. Okay? Always. Now. Let's get back on subject, Frankie. Now, here's how this works, okay? Here's how this works with paid traffic, okay? Now, you should also build content simultaneously. What I mean by that is, yes, you should buy traffic, okay? I'm going to show you there's a five-step process to this. Five steps. Most people stop at step number three, and that's the biggest mistake. They don't do step four and five. We'll cover that in just a second. But the thing with the advertising is, guys, you've got to do it. And um, I'm thinking about something else. I'm getting off track. Let me just let me cover this first. Let me cover this first. Okay. Here's how it works. It's real simple. Okay. And I'm going to give you guys classes in the future. I'm going to show you where you can go and easily buy traffic. I'll tell you something right now. It's never been easier than right now to buy traffic to get visitors to your website. It is you within minutes. You can literally have traffic being sent to your landing page. And it used to not be like that. It was very difficult actually to get paid traffic to your landing pages years back when I first got started in the industry. But now, I mean, if you can copy and paste, you can get visitors to your website, guys, okay? All right, now, it's a five-step process with paid traffic, okay? The first step is obviously you're gonna buy some advertising, okay? Now I suggest solo ads, okay? Solo ads, we'll cover this in another training, but a solo ad is simply um, a vendor that has an email list and what they're doing is they're sending their list to your landing page to take a look at your product, your service, your network marketing company, your whatever it may be, okay? Now the first step is 
those visitors are going to go to a landing page where you're going to collect an email address, okay? We're always going to collect that email address. Now, once they put their email in, the next thing they're going to see is, sometimes I call this the BP page, business presentation page, or the product page, I call it the, um, also the PP, the product page. But anyway, they're going to see something. You're going to give them, it could be training, you could be giving away a free training on something. It doesn't really matter, okay? But the second thing they should see is give them the information, okay? Don't waste their time. Show them what they're asking for, okay? Now, the third step is the automatic email follow-up, okay? Now, what this is designed to do, and this is important, your autoresponder emails that go out, all they're, decide, all they're designed to do is basically show people the product and service again, over and over and over again. It's kind of like a commercial, right? Commercial comes on television, you see a product or service, and you see it 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, 50 times. At what point do you lift your ass up off the couch and call and order or go to the website or whatever the call to action is, come into the store, whatever the call to action is, at what point do you get up and purchase that product? I don't know the answer to that question, but these emails, these follow-up emails, give people another chance. And what you do is you send them right back here to the product page. Okay? That's what those emails do. All right, now. Most people stop right here, and this is why they struggle, because they stop right here. There's two more steps. Once again, I had to figure this out on my own. Nobody taught me this. I had to figure this one out, right? Another thing, guys, when I first got into this, social media was brand new, okay? Like, it was brand new. There was three things that happened in 2010. Three things. 2010. This, is, this was the year that just, the whole, the whole world changed in 2010, okay? Here's what happened in 2010. I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, I watched the world change right before my very eyes. Number one, the availability of Wi-Fi. That was the year that Wi-Fi was everywhere. If you went to a coffee shop, a bar, uh, wherever you went, the library, I don't care where you went, there was a Wi-Fi connection there somewhere, okay? Second thing, social media went viral. That was the year that social media went viral. I believe Facebook had a billion users that year. I could be wrong on that. I can't remember, guys. It, it could have been. Maybe it was 2012. But anyway, social media went viral. People began to carry these mobile devices. They started, they, get, they started getting rid of the flip phones, right? And now they had this little computer in their hand, and they were always connected to the Internet, okay? This is what changed in 2010, and that's when marketing changed, okay? And I had to figure this out because I was in this evolution. I got started in this industry in 2010, and I, you know, once I figured this out, I connected this to this, okay? I connected these two things together. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Step four and five, okay? This is valuable, guys. I could be charging you guys crazy money for this one. All right, step number four. This will take you to the next level, guys. This will take you beyond your wildest dreams. Step four is, and I've talked about this so many times, email broadcasts. Now, what is an email broadcast? An email broadcast is a one-time email to your contacts, to your list, to your database, to your subscribers. And this information needs to be current, okay? It needs to be an update on the product or service. It needs to be some validation about the product or service, okay? It needs to reinforce what they've already seen here. Critical, very important, guys incredibly important, okay? And there's a lot that you can do with this. Like, you could link this email right back to here. Of course you could. You could show, hey, man, these are the results of my product or whatever it may be. You might want to take a look at this again, and you could send them right back over here, okay? You could do it. You could send them to a Facebook Live. Or, you know, it's not live. It's, you know, a replay of a Facebook. 
You can send them to your YouTube channel. You can send them to a testimonial page. You can send them to a training page and then link back to the product page. It is endless what you can do with this, but you must do this. And I talk about this all the time. And I tell you guys to contact your, your leads Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday are the best days. Okay. Now you can contact them on Saturday too, or, or Monday, or Friday, or whatever the heck. These are the best days to contact your con uh, the, to contact your email list. You can go seven days a week if you want, but it's best not to hit them too hard because then they stop opening up your emails. Okay. Now number five. These are the two steps that nobody does. And this is why. This is why they struggle, guys. Validation. We talk about this a lot, right? Validation through social media. Now, let me tell you guys something. When you validate through social media, and what that means is you're sharing proof, progress, results about your product, whatever it may be, on social media, on your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Google+, Plus, what have you, whatever social media communities that you're into, your Instagram, whatever. When you share that stuff, you're putting this product and service in front of an ever-growing, an ever-growing community, an ever-growing audience, okay? And what people do is, now think about this, think about the psychology behind this. Somebody goes to your landing page, they put, they put in their email. They see a product or service. They may or may not buy it, but they're watching it. They're thinking about it. They're like, well, maybe I'll get involved in this network marketing company or this affiliate offer, or maybe I'll use this product. I don't know. But then they start getting some automatic emails that come up and follow up with them. And then you start sending email broadcasts to them, and you're reinforcing this product and service right here, okay? So now they're interested in this. Like, you know what? Maybe I should take a look at what Frank Calabro Jr. is doing or what, you know, what your teammates are doing, maybe I should take a look at this thing. And then what they do is they start researching you, okay? And they go over to your Facebook wall or your Twitter or whatever, LinkedIn or whatever you, whatever you, wherever you're posting this stuff at, and they see this. They say, wait a minute. Not only is this person talking about this product or service, they're actually backing it up in the open on their Facebook, you know, their profile, their business page, what have you. They're actually validating the product or service on their social media account. This, my friends, is powerful. Okay, this will take you to the next level, man, because this is what people want, man. They want social proof. They want proof that the product or service is valuable and that it works. This is relatively new, okay, because, and this is not really new, the email broadcast is really not new, but Social media changed everything. It changed the world in 2010 because now you were able to take this, connect it to a real live living person, your social media pipeline, okay? And this is gonna grow generically the more leads that you generate because people are naturally going to start following you on social media because you bought some traffic. Think about this, guys. Think about it. Let's sink in. This is powerful, guys. This is called paid traffic success for a reason because this works. These five simple steps, and it is simple to do this, get yourself into a routine, and as long as you got something strong right here, you got something strong right here, I promise you, you can find a community, you can find an audience, you can find it, Okay, unless your product is just something that no one in the world wants, which is very rare, okay, but I guess it could happen, right? But if you got something pretty valuable right here, okay, a product or a service, I guarantee you can find a community, an audience that wants that, and all you got to do is generate those leads, show them the product, drip on them a little bit with this automatic email stuff, hit them up with some live email broadcasts, some new emails that are fresh, because your subscribers know the difference between an email broadcast and an autoresponder. They know the difference. The market is more savvy. It's more matured, okay? They understand the difference between an autoresponder and something they just got that you just wrote and just put out that morning. They know the difference. 
And then all you got to do is validate it on social media, okay? You can also put this stuff in social media groups, certain communities you guys belong to. You can even invite these people to your social media groups if it's allowed. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bring your prospects here. And well, this is a community of people that use this particular product or this particular service. We're excited about it. We'll invite them into our group. And now you've got this big, huge community of people that are already using this particular item, okay? And the large group, it, it increases the perception, guys, okay? What's perception? Perception is consensus. What do people think about a certain product or service or what, what have you, right? Well, social media, a group, will validate whatever this may be, okay? So, guys, this is really a basic... Uh, uh, Formula, but I'll tell you what, it's powerful beyond belief because this totally, ju it just changed my zip code, man. I mean, it just, I mean, it just took me just beyond, uh, about, beyond anything I ever imagined when I connected these two steps. And I didn't really start doing this email broadcast stuff until, uh, I'm trying to think, when I actually really started getting regular with it, it was very early in 2014 is when I really started getting regular with this. And then I started validating on social media. I really started, I connected all this together. This, I kind of figured out in the early part of my career, I fully didn't understand this. I was trying to figure it out. I was, you know, uh, this whole paid traffic thing was very confusing to me. And I, but I liked it. I was excited about it that I could get clicks. I could get visits, like almost instantly. And I'll teach this in another training. But the thing was, okay, I got clicks. Then I got the product. And I show them the product, but they're not going to buy it. Why? How come they're not buying it? I got these emails following up. Shouldn't they just buy this product? They shouldn't they do this? Well, this was only like the, basically 50% of the picture. The other 50% was over here. I had to figure this out. Once I figured this out, it was game over, guys. It was just total domination. It was just like take it over and just run with it, man. Take it to the next level. So there's paid traffic success. Think about this. Implement this. Apply this. And you, my friends, are going to have some amazing results. Be sure to like, comment, and uh, below the video, like the video, share the video, all that kind of cool stuff. Make sure you guys connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Find me, Frank Calabro Jr., and let's connect. And that's going to conclude this particular training. See you guys in the next training. Frank Calabro Jr. signing off. Thank you.